Hello children, grasslands cover more than one-fifth of the earth's surface. There are large stretches of land with tall grasses and hardly any trees. Let me tell you more about grasslands through this video. Watch out! Grasslands are natural habitats that have been formed by nature. The grasses found here have not been planted by people. Most of the grasslands are located in the temperate zone, that is, between latitudes 23.5 degree north and 66.5 degree north in the northern hemisphere, and between latitudes 23.5 degree south and 66.5 degree south in the southern hemisphere. The grasslands are known by different names in different parts of the world. Prairies in North America, Pampas in South America, Steppes in Russia, Weld in South Africa, Downs in Australia, and Savannas in Central Africa. Today, we will study about the prairies located in the center of North America. Prairie is a French word meaning meadow or grassland. The grass is green in summer and turns brown in autumn. There are hardly any trees. The soil is very fertile due to large quantities of humus. The prairies have hot summers and cold winters. Moderate rainfall occurs mostly in summers. Earlier the prairies were the grazing grounds for millions of bisons. But today most of the land has been cleared for agriculture. Thus very few bisons can now be seen. Water is available in plenty from the Mississippi and Missouri rivers and their tributaries. The soil here is fertile and is perfect for agriculture. The region is called the wheat basket of the world, which makes the United States of America the largest producer of wheat in the world. The other main crops grown are maize, barley, rye and oats. Towards the west, the prairies are hilly and the soil is not so fertile. These areas are mainly used to rear cattle in large farms called ranches. Cattle are raised for beef and dairy products. The cattle are sent to slaughterhouses in the cities for the production of beef. Ranches and slaughterhouses are equipped with modern machinery and the city of Chicago is an important center for slaughtering animals. Children. You know, the grasslands are the most endangered habitat as they are easier to convert into farmlands. Thank you. See you again.